Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, coming back with another Star Wars fan film reaction. I'm actually really looking forward to this one. It is part two of Wilkins Animation's own rendition of the Legends classic Dark Empire by Tom Veitch. I reacted to chapter one here on the channel a while ago, and now we're ready for chapter two. Um, yeah, I was completely blown away by the level of artistry that went into this, and the way it's been merged with the audio drama is very well done. I'm excited to see what's in store for me next. So without further ado, let's do it! Non-profit fan film. 21st century fan. I love it. Let's go Lucasfilm font. The Devastator of Worlds. Oh, that's right. Should I read it? I'm gonna read it. Episode 2, Devastator of Worlds. It is a time of growing chaos across the galaxy. Divided Imperial forces contend ferociously to regain control of their once sprawling empire. At the height of the growing anarchy, a captured Star Destroyer piloted by Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian, and Wedge Antilles is shot down over the Imperial City. In an attempt to rescue their fallen comrades, Princess Leia and Han Solo, together with Chewbacca and C-3PO, fly the Millennium Falcon into the heart of Coruscant. However, Skywalker refused to be saved. Oh dear, I went too slow. Everyone's Red Duck Empire, we all know what's happening, right? Believe me, Leia, Luke knows what he's doing. I'm not so sure, Han. Something about the way he looked at me. I was afraid of him. Lando, notify Terry Six. We're returning to Pinnacle Base. Chewie, lock in the auxiliary power. Very this looks point. so good. Is it cell shaded? I can't tell. The Falcon, at least. The New this Republic is Fleet. I show target ship exiting hyperspace beyond the third moon. Green leader here. Pinnacle base confirms our readings. Ship is broadcasting no ID code. Just keep an eye on your scanner. Intercept 05. This is Admiral Akbar aboard the flagship Defiance. Did I drop? Akbar, that's so why aren't you broadcasting on a recognition code? We ran into an Imperial convoy and our transponder was damaged. I thought you were on a recon. Yeah, I love the art direction of this. Let's just say the Imperials didn't like the idea as much as we did. Patch me through to Mon Mothma immediately. Affirmative. Admiral Ekbar, glad to see you in one piece. Glad to be in one piece after what we've seen. We penetrated as far as we could into the star system still controlled by the Empire. Something of great consequence is happening there. We saw Imperial ships from both sides of the Civil War vanishing into the darkest reaches of the galactic core. Our spies and probe droids report similar sightings in other sectors. How did the mission to the old Imperial homeworld go? Is there any news of Commander Skywalker? Yes, but not good, I'm afraid. We received a garbled transmission from the Imperial planet, but there was too much interference to understand it. We think they found General Calrissian and Luke, but only Lando is returning with them. I don't know what to make of it. The heroes return. Oh my god, that's just like the panel. Holy shit. That's amazing. I'm gonna have to pull up the panel that that's recreating in a minute here. Transmitter. Every time I bring the Falcon back to base, my comlink picks up that damn trainee orientation. Relax, Han. We're mourning. This is really impressive. Princess Leia, thank goodness you're back. Where's Commander Skywalker? A terrible thing has happened. The dark side has taken Luke prisoner. He let it happen. And pull off Chewie's weapon. They're like hydrants. No one trusts that Luke has a plan. Hurry. With everything he's been through, boy, he's got a plan. Mon Mothma has just called an emergency meeting of the command staff. 
Gorgeous. Look at the lighting. Skywalker. Love that. This is not an isolated event. Similar storms have been detected in several systems. Furthermore, Admiral Akbar's reconnaissance mission suggests that there is a great war fleet gathering at the very core of the galaxy. Someone or something has been biding its time, while the feuding Imperial factions distracted our attention. We have reason to believe that some dark side genius is at work, creating new technologies that go beyond all previous conception. Activate holographic projector. The images you are seeing are being transmitted at this very moment from the planet Mon Calamari. The people of Calamari have been a proud part of the Alliance since the beginning. Now, Calamari seems to be under attack from some diabolical new machines. There, coming into view now. The World Devastator. Oh what is that thing? The Calamari they pay homage to this in... Um, the last season of Star Wars Rebels with the big garbage scows that the Trandoshan guys are operating. Model after the same design. indicate my people have been unable to stop the world devastating. They are impervious to all modes of attack. Oh, so fucking metal. I, I love the sequence in the graphic novel and in the book. Oh, damn. This is so well done, and I love the wing-mounted shots like that, recreating what we saw in TFA, you know? Yes! Really reminiscent of Tartarovsky's Clone Wars with the ground counter machine, too, you know? That's all the transmission that got through. It's a massacre down there. The people of Calamari were the first to defy the Empire years ago. When the Death Star was created, we were scheduled to be one of the first planets annihilated by that terrible weapon. When the Emperor was killed, we thought we'd been spared, but now, whoever is reunifying the Empire is carrying out the Emperor's decision to discipline us. General Calrissian, it's crazy. Are you prepared to pilot our it's almost as if somehow Palpatine has returned. I don't know. After what I did to the last Star Destroyer, I'm not sure I'm qualified to pilot anything fancy than the garbage scow. How about you, Han? You're the best star pilot in the galaxy. Uh, sorry, uh, you'll have to wing it, Lando. I've got my hands full wet nursing all these new fighter pilots that have joined the Rebellion. But, uh, good luck. Just gonna leave him hanging. Han, it's not like you to turn down an assignment like you did today. I, uh, this endless war, it seems like we've only been alone for five minutes since we got married. But... I really wanted to go with Lando. That's right. This takes place after uh, the courtship of Princess guys. Leia. Han, something awful is happening to Luke. Oh, jeez, Leia. Which was also the Once first in appearance life, of Daphne. I'm trying to be sensitive and romantic and see what it gets me. Luke can take care of himself. I can feel him, Han. He's getting farther and farther away. We must help him. We need some time to ourselves, Leia. For you and me. Luke doesn't want any help. He says he has to do it alone. I believe him. Besides, <laughs> you've got enough to worry about right here. Do I? Uh-huh. After all, beautiful princess here alone with a notorious scoundrel. Huh. Who knows what could happen? I'm surprised they weren't interrupted by 3PO again. Would have been oh. a great moment for it. Whatever grabbed me was no energy storm. R2, is that you? I don't know where we are. Some sort of ship. Whoever, whatever captured us has left us in the dark. We're inside an Imperial dungeon ship. The kind they used to transport. Look the at that. The Clone Wars. And it looks like we've reached our destination. <laughs> a planet. Somewhere at the core of the galaxy. Surrounded by thousands of warships. Beautiful. I love it. The circuitry on the side of the planet of like the that. Universe, R2. This is it. Oh. Jedi Knight. Welcome. Please come with us. I'm not going anywhere until. 
Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> Force key traumatized. Prisoner contained. Inform His Excellency that his guest has arrived. Those fucking big ass droid guards are so cool. Release the prisoner. Deactivating Dark Force cage. Oh. Prisoner out. This is it, R2. This is where my opponent. Whoever he is, is waiting. I said, out. Don't threaten me. He's getting out. Give him I'm a second. here because I choose to be here. It's true. <laughs> Impudent well. I will do nothing. Let him believe it is his free choice if he wants. But he is walking to his doom. It's all a grand orchestration. That was a great shot, too. You? But I saw you die. <laughs> oh. It was not the first time I died. No, he he looks so cool. Time. Yes. Such are the mysteries of the dark side of the Force. You see, my young apprentice, flesh does not easily support this great power for many like years, what they did what they did in nine was so reminiscent of this my body has decayed again and again and each time i have needed to take another transferring my essence into a humble clone of the man i once was clones yes young skywalker the dying is painful the transition is deadable to endure, but the suffering is a small price to pay for eternal life. Well, I'm so impressed with this. This is apprentice. so good. Your father is dead. Have you come to join me? Will you take the place that rightfully belongs to you? You hesitate. Let me offer you an incentive. Screen on! the battle raging across the planet Calamari. Those pathetic rebels flee before the might of my world devastators. Rebel Legion kneel before me, and they are yours. Palpatine, you tried this incentive no. track at the, the Battle of Endor. It didn't work then either. They had years to reclaim the galaxy. Without the Jedi Knights, they failed miserably. And now, I have outflanked them. Working in secret, I have created weapons such as the galaxy has never seen. It nice one, R2. Destiny, my friend. To succeed your father, to wield my discipline over the worlds that have betrayed me. Never! Surely you know that if you strike me down in anger, Is it time to meet him? I will live again. Perhaps. I will even live as you. Oh! <laughs> I see you have grown wise in the ways of the Force. You have achieved control. You are no longer the impulsive youth at war with your own anger. Excellent. I will not kill you. But you can still conquer me. By learning the secrets of the dark side, we both know there is no other way for you. And therein lies Palpatine's power. Yes. My father's destiny is my own. It is done, my young apprentice. Let us celebrate our conquest of the galaxy. <laughs> Amazing. Battle for Calamari. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my god, this is some of the best fan content I think we've ever gotten. It's so, so well done. Such a masterpiece. Yeah. Ian Wilkins, doing all this herself. Man, incredible. The original, the original score was great too. Um, 
everyone in the credits deserves a shout out, honestly. This is one of the better productions that I've seen. I'm such a big fan of animated storytelling, and I really think that seeing high quality productions like this on a fan level really legitimizes the medium, and makes you realize that, you know, there are excellent stories to be told. There are, it's an excellent way of conveying that information, and the audience should be so much wider for it. Cartoons aren't just for kids, you know? You can tell any story through an animated medium. Yeah, can't wait for part three. And once again, Wilkins Animation has extremely impressed me. Can't wait for chapter three of this. Really enjoying this series. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. Leave me a comment if you have a question, or if you have a fan film to recommend. I'm trying to get my hands on every Star Wars fan film ever made. You can also catch me streaming four days a week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash KyleKatarn. Playing Star Wars Battlefront, Squadrons, Force Unleashed, The Old Republic. Lots of good stuff going on over there. Um, there's also a Discord community. You can find a link to that in the description of the video. And if you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash channel. You'll get access to full-length videos, early access, a couple of exclusive things too, like a studio tour and a breakdown of the collection behind me here. There's also a couple of Discord perks too. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.